can you talk about the impressive win you guys came out with for game number one, beating them by double digits? I mean, I was proud of the way we executed our game plan. I thought we did a good job of keeping them off the boards. Uh, offensively, we, we, we got what we want. Um, you know, guys were attacking, guys hit shots. We, we took open shots. Um, but, you know, the biggest thing was, was the offensive rebounding battle. You know, not allowing them to have second chance points is huge. Each, for each of you, how would you uh, describe the Zebo versus Griffin matchup tonight? Uh, it's going to be physical every single game. You know, that's the way he likes to play, and, and that's the way you have to play. So, you know, as long as at the end of the game we're, we're winning that, that rebounding battle and we're up, I'm cool with it. Blake, how did, Blake, how did your back hold up? I'm over here. Sorry. How did your back hold up tonight? Uh, it was pretty good. It was good throughout the game. Um, we got, got a lot of good work in yesterday, today, and, and it felt, felt good. Chris, uh, I'm here. I want to go big picture with you. And when you see the crowd going nuts in this place and sold out and so forth, can you sort of put it in perspective Man, what, it's, what it's meant to you to do it? What it's you're doing exciting. Here? It's exciting. It's nothing like it. Um, you know, it's really two different seasons. It's the regular season, it's the playoffs. You know, when we ran out for warm ups tonight, it, it means a lot when the fans are here early. You know, when we run out for warm ups and you see them up and they're excited and um, we have a different type of crowd here. They have fun. They're, they're exciting all game long. And when they see us playing hard in the way that we know we can, they really are a sixth man, and, and we need them. We need them in order to do what we want to do. Tamara, uh, can you talk about the production and energy from the bench tonight? Yeah, we're used to that. <laughs> you know, I think, you know, we have the best bench in the league, and when they bring it like that, I mean, we we sat the fourth quarter until maybe like five minutes left. Like most teams usually can't do that. And I stay in Bledsoe's ear because he's the catalyst. He's the guy that leads that ship. He's the guy that's a game changer. And when he's playing with that aggressive mentality on both ends of the court, we're, we're tough to beat. Chris, yeah, talking about Chauncey, he wasn't able to play in the playoffs last year with you guys, and he really sets the tone, and I know how much it meant to him to, to be playing tonight. Can you just talk yeah, about that? Yeah, Chauncey, uh, you know, he's the big brother of the group to all of us, so uh, he's been so excited just to be back on the court, but to be back in the playoffs. You know, this is what he thrives for, and Chauncey doesn't have to score a point during the game to affect the game. You know, he's one of those guys you see when he's pushing the ball in transition, everybody's eyes get big because you, you didn't seen it before. So he's one of those guys that commands so much attention. He makes the right play. He makes the right passes. And he gives me an opportunity to get off the ball. And uh, that's when we uh, really get going. Chris and Blake, um, you guys had one dunk tonight. Pretty unheard of uh, for this team. What were they doing to keep you more on the ground? I, I just decided not to dunk that often tonight. I just wanted to, <laughs> I just wanted to shoot floaters and stuff like that. I'm trying to save it for when I really need to. I don't know if it was Blake' problem. I just, I just wanted to foul. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to foul a lot. And, uh, no, I mean they they do a good job. Uh, they're, tough, they're tough defensively inside, but you know in the end, um, you know, guys made shots, and, and that's that's really all that matters. You know we don't we don't live for the dunk. It just happens sometimes. <laughs>